Last week, Elementor held their web forward event and we got a first look into some exciting new features. Two things stood out to me the most, the new editor v4 and the AI site planner. Elementor uses AI prompts to create a sitemap and wireframe for your website in just a few steps. From what I've seen, this is their original AI builder put on steroids. And here's my honest, uncensored and in-depth look at the beta version of the AI site planner. First off, the setup process couldn't be easier. All I needed to do was create a solid brief and hit a button to generate the wireframe. It's that simple. What really stood out to me was how effortless it is to tweak things. You can regenerate entire sections with just one click. And moving or copying sections to different pages is a breeze thanks to the sitemap panel. And let's talk about importing. These designs come through with minimal issues and are fully customizable. Whether it's adjusting the padding or tweaking the widgets, everything can be fine-tuned in just few clicks. Now, once you're ready to try the planner, just come to this website and here you can choose between the AI chat or the AI note taker. Both options allow you to either answer questions directly or upload a document with your website's details. If you're working with clients, you can even create a questionnaire for them to fill out and then upload their responses or use the AI note taker and jump on a video call with your client for a clear brief on what the website should look like. However, just keep in mind that the AI site planner only works on Chrome browsers for now. All right, the first step is to create a brief. I'll choose the AI chat option for now and the AI will ask you a bunch of questions like the name of your site, the type of business, your primary goals, and the core features you want to include. For example, I'll name the site Pet Planet and describe it as a company providing different per and vet services. I can also specify my goals such as providing pet care information and expanding my customer base. Finally, I'll also add the elements that I want on my website, like an online store, a blog section, an adoption page, and more. After you're done, you should see this button. And on the top right, it will show you the quality of your brief. Basically, you want it to be a good brief or better, and then click on this button to start generating the sitemap. After finalizing your brief, the AI generates a detailed sitemap. This includes the pages you specified, such as home, adoption, and contact, as well as suggested sections for each page, like headers, hero sections, and call to action areas. The interface is simple, allowing you to regenerate or remove sections as needed. You can also drag and reorder sections for a better overall layout. But here's the exciting part. You can now click on the wireframe button on the top and this will generate the complete layout of your site. It will take some time to complete depending on the number of pages you've specified. I want to put it to the test, so I've generated a bunch of different pages. And there you go, all the pages are now generated. The good thing is that you can even shift the layout to a mobile or tablet view from here. Also, I don't like the hero section on the home page, so let me regenerate it to something that looks better. I'll just click here and the section is now changed. Now, you can do this with all the sections here. Just a quick thing that I've noticed, most of the main or the first sections for the different pages are 100 VH in height. This means they'll cover your entire screen when you open up your page. All right, let's just take a look at the other sections. And once you're ready, you can preview your site plan by clicking here. You can copy or download this entire document and I'll just go back and click on this style tab. It's still under development, but after the stable version is released, just think of all the possibilities it will bring to the table. Anyways, let's export this wireframe as a zip file so that I can use it on my site. Once downloaded, you can import it into your website. However, there are some problems that are faced when importing the zip file. First, you need to make sure that the Elementor and Elementor Pro plugins on your site are updated. I've tried it with just Elementor free, but there are some sections that won't be imported perfectly. Things like testimonial carousels are limited to Elementor Pro. And if you have any sections using that, then the design won't be imported correctly. Next, I've also found out that the theme you've applied is super important. I've currently got the Astra theme applied, and when I import the zip file on my site, the layout is quite messed up. Also, as you can see, the header doesn't look right either. So make sure you go back 
and use the hello theme by Elementor. It should also be updated to the latest version so you don't run into compatibility issues. Finally, the header often doesn't import properly, even if you're using the hello theme or a clean site. After importing, you may need to manually add pages and header menu items to ensure everything is set up correctly. Once that's done, you can also customize your pages using the Elementor editor. I'll just turn off this page title so it looks cleaner and then add this cute cat background image. Now, you can change the color of the text or do anything else you want using the editor. Now that we've covered the highlights, let's get into a few things I'd love to see improved. First, there's no option to edit specific parts of a section. It's a bit frustrating when you need to make the same changes across multiple pages manually. Next, I think it'd be amazing if Elementor added a collaboration feature. Imagine being able to share the design with a client or team member so they can review, customize, or leave comments on specific sections. That would seriously streamline the entire process. Lastly, I'd love an option to export the wireframe as a Figma file. This would make it so much easier to refine designs with precision in Figma. And while we are at it, a PDF export option would be a great addition too. It would simplify sharing designs for reviews and feedback. Interestingly, the designs generated by the site planner are quite similar to those produced by Elementor's AI feature, which we've covered in a previous video. This is likely because they use the same or an updated AI model. While the designs are responsive and look great on mobile and tablet devices, the style options within the planner are still under development. Once those features are rolled out, they are sure to enhance the user experience even further. While it's not perfect yet and some manual adjustments may be required, it's a great starting point for creating professional websites quickly. With future updates and improvements to style options, this tool could become one of the best features of Elementor's ecosystem. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.